Carpet. It's something we have all over the place in the school district, and in fact in our world. It's just kind of in every public building. One of the problems you have with uh, what's called broadloom, or this, this roll media type carpet, is that if you have a big spill, or a stain, or a tear, or something, well, you have to clean it to the best of your ability because you just can't cut that area out and replace it. You have to replace the whole carpet. So as it gets worn in certain areas, you know, same thing. So one of the things that's happened in the industry is we now have these carpet squares. And we're going to talk a little bit about carpet squares and how to replace them. So when you remove a carpet square, don't just yank it out there real quick for two reasons. That you might pull up some of the, <clears throat> the patch. Do it slow. If you see the patch coming up, you can lay it back down and put a work order in because they're going to have to come back and repatch that. Do it slow also so you can find out where the arrow is. Don't just yank it out and throw the carpet. you got to find out where the arrow, which direction it's coming from. Now, is that arrow always in the same spot or no, it's it not. somewhere else? And it's not even easy to find. Here we have two. One we circled right here, and here's another one. You may have one, you may have two, but you're always going to have one. But make sure you find out which direction that carpet is before you put the next one down. Because, see this pattern? If it's different from the other patterns, it's going to look stupid. It's going to stand out. So always make sure you know where you're going. Find your corner. There you go. And then, pull it out. And then just pull your square up. Like a pro. Look at that. Look how easy that is. You want to find out where the arrow is. The arrow? Yep, there's an arrow on there. Where's the arrow? Where is the arrow on this? Where is the arrow on that? <laughs> where is the arrow? So what happens if a wife's in the room, man. I know. I do not see an arrow on that there's one. There's one on this one. Interesting. That's crazy. Y'all have arrows. I know. You guys show me how to put a square in a square. Yeah. Well, there is a way to do it. You just don't plop it in. You gotta, yeah. There you you go. gotta fit it. Yep. Okay, make sure that arrow's the way that the other one was. It was. You fit it. It is. Yep. Go ahead and kind of plop it in. You, you might have to move it around before you push down on it. Trust me. There you go. That's exactly it. You know what would be a good way to roll it? If you have a wax bucket, a full uh -huh. one, uh -huh. or... Whatever. Yeah, that would lay it on the ground and roll it. Or Dave, just get down Stop. on the ground and roll around yeah. on it. And that's see that works too. So but there you go. That's how you do it. 